Hello, this is Christy. Welcome to another episode of Tutorials for Camtasia. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to use placeholders in your project. This is a new feature in Camtasia 2020, and it enables you to pre uh, create a project. And then if you want to reuse uh, an entire project or uh, even have replaceable clips in your project for other projects where you can just drop a new media file or a new clip inside it without making many changes, it will, um, you will need to have these placeholders. So I want to show you how this is done very easily and it works on um, video, it works on pictures, it works on audio as well. So let's get started. So I have a blank project here and let's say that I want to create a video that I want to reuse for example, a, I don't know, a slideshow of beautiful pictures and music. So if you want to do more of these, then you want to be able to change, particularly if you have a lot of pictures, you want to be able to change the pictures for the next video and change maybe the audio. So that could be a long time because you're creating all these transition maybe and all the other effects you want to do. So it's very nice it's a very nice scenario for using placeholders so i'm going to drag a few pictures here in my project in my media bin so i have four pictures here let me turn on the thumbnails four pictures and also an audio file so i have these pictures and i want to put them on my timeline and create a slideshow I don't really care about the length of each slide at the moment. I just want to put them on there and be able to create some transitions. Okay, four pictures on my timeline. Okay. Okay, so turn on magnetic to re remove the spaces, turn it back off. Okay, so I have four pictures here. I don't care about the length about, uh, of the pictures right now. I can see that uh, Camtasia has modified the dimension of my canvas to match the first picture. So I want to I go back and put that to the size that I want. And this is HD. Um, this, might, this is important because if you add new clips and you create them placeholders, then if your dimension changes, then you're going to have to make some adjustment to them. So um, now these are my pictures. And of course, I want to add transitions for them. Let's try a fade between the, the, the clips. I really don't want to mess around with it too much. So here we go. Fades all over. So now my clips are playing. You can see my pictures. If I want to adjust these so I can actually zoom out a little bit and if I if I need to adjust these, press control, click on the clip on the stage and just make it fit all the the screen. OK, and then go back to the other one, make it fit. Uh, this is important because you want your slideshow to fill the entire screen. OK. And finally, the last one. Here we go. All right. So I have made all my clips fit the uh, dimension of the canvas. So the slideshow is working, no problem. Now, um, let's put some music. So I have music here, a music file on my timeline. It's a bit long, doesn't matter. Here we go. Right, so this is my slideshow with music. Okay, enough about that. So I'm, a, I'm able to export this as a video now, but what happens if I want to make another one later and I don't want to go through all the trouble of dragging all these clips on the line and adding these transitions again, replacing the song file. So what do I do? You can select these and then right click and say convert to placeholder. Now you can see the pictures have gone. So you want to do this on a new project or maybe even save this as a template after you're done with this. So now all of my pictures have disappeared and in their uh, place, I have placeholder. It says here, drag media onto placeholder on the timeline. Okay. And also let's do the same for the audio file, right? Click convert to placeholder, the audio file. Let me just say before that, 
let's make a change to the audio let me undo here and i'm gonna make a little change to the audio i'm going to add a video uh, an audio effect and i'm gonna fade it in and fade it out okay and you know what i'm gonna add a little dip in sound in the middle of the file like that okay just for for the sake of demonstration okay so now i am done with the audio i'm gonna right click on it and say convert to placeholder here we go so we have one audio track and one track with pictures now how do the placeholders work so i'm gonna go to me my media bin and i'm gonna just remove these um, files i'm gonna remove the pictures here we go they're gone my placeholders are still there my my uh, picture placeholders and my audio so now i want to bring in some different pictures okay so i'm going to import some new pictures and i am going to import a new audio file so let's go okay this is a new audio file okay and now let's see i'm i don't have to select anything in here i just want to put the the first picture in the first placeholder so just drag it from the library from the media bin you drag it onto the first placeholder and you wait until the placeholder turns green depending on your the, the computer speed it may take a while so if i'm dragging this it takes a while for it to turn green but when it turn when the outline of the placeholder turns green it means it's accepting my media file so i'm just dropping that onto the placeholder so now my picture is back and if you notice it has remembered the fact that it was scaled up to fill the um the width of the um of the canvas let's try the next one we have placeholder now click on the picture in the media bin and drag it down here wait for it to turn green and click and release your mouse and there you go you have the picture again here you just drag your picture and then finally my machine is not exactly the fastest i guess okay so we have placed all of our pictures on the timeline and probably here we see that this one was not large enough so you want to maybe click on it and just adjust your scaling and maybe the framing but that is a small off effort so let's see the audio file now i want to take my new song drag it in here and release and now i have a question it's it's uh, because the length of the video uh, of the so sound file that i brought in is different from the other sound file and you know it's probably longer or shorter i don't know than the placeholder camtasia is asking me what i want to do do i want to ripple replace um or replace from the start from the end or replace with clip speed so ripple replace means if i have other clips after this placeholder and my file is longer or shorter than the placeholder it will insert the file and move all of the uh trailing clips to uh, either uh, forward or backwards depending on the length now this may be or may not be what you want so you can say replace from start in which case it's just going to replace it and cut it off or from the end and cut off the beginning or you can replace it with clip speed which means it's going to change the speed of the clip to match exactly the time the space it has in the placeholder in my case i don't want to cut off the song so i want to say ripple replace i don't have also i don't have other clips after this one so ripple replace means it's going to put my song file in there and just move the final the end point wherever the file ends and look at this if i select the file it has remembered my transitions my fade outs and fade in of course my fade out was at the point where the previous song was finishing so now i have to adjust this it, which is not it's not a big deal so i can i can just move these endpoints or delete them here like that okay and also remember the dip that i created in here in in the middle of the song right here so i'm going to show you in another 
a video, how I'm creating like, you know, inspirational videos, for example, where you create all of these clips at equal intervals and then you place an audio file with uh, fades at the end of the clips and then you export those as separate files. So that's going to be a, a, new, a different tutorial. But I hope this was useful. You can see how the placeholders work and they can save you a lot of editing time if you're creating some sort of like template projects where you want to just drag drag something and they work also in the library. So you, you save these placeholder bundles if you want in the library and then you just bring them into your project, drop your media on top of them and they will replace and then you know you're good to go. Thank you for watching. If you find my tutorials useful, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, like it and comment and see you next time.